Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lacey and this is my art channel. Today's video is something somewhat different. So tomorrow is my birthday and because of that, I started thinking about how I just wanted to do something that would bring me happiness for this video. Not that the other videos don't make me happy, but I really wanted to choose a topic that I've just been wanting to do for a long time but I never made time for. I think I never made time for this topic because of the fear that no one else would like it but I guess if today's the day that I'm gonna make time to do something for myself because of my birthday then it's the time to take the leap so here it goes. If you've been on my channel for a while, you may know that I have a monthly sticker subscription that I receive every month. The company is called Sticky. They have three different sticker packs to choose from. They have cute, vintage, and pop. I receive the cute and vintage every month. When you receive the monthly stickers, you also receive a plastic protector pocket that they are stored in, and you also receive two stickers that you can put on the edges of the pockets, so that way when you flip the pages, you can still see what the theme is. I only ever use the front sticker and I never use the back sticker, so I was wondering what can I do with those stickers? And then I came up with this idea. My idea was that I would get a sketchbook and I would put the corner sticker on each spread and on one side of the spread I would draw out some of the stickers as inspiration and on the other half I would design an OC, an original character, using the sticker theme. At first I was reluctant because I'm not very good at drawing humans. It's something I really struggled with. When I was a kid, I remember always wanting to be an artist, but because I felt like my friends were so good at drawing humans and I wasn't, I just felt I could never be an artist. And to be honest, at that time, I didn't have a huge passion for drawing humans. I actually really loved drawing foods, animals, and fan art, mostly Pokemon. And when I realized that you could be an artist and just draw whatever you want, you don't have to draw humans to be an artist, that was so freeing. And when I decided to become an artist for the longest time, I did just draw whatever I wanted. I've drawn tons of Pokemon and animals and foods. And eventually, I came back around full circle and wanted to practice drawing humans again. This is because I really want to become an illustrator one day, so I decided to practice. So even though I was reluctant to start, I also knew that doing it would help me improve my art. And now I've been practicing drawing humans a lot. I've taken courses on drawing humans, I've read books about drawing humans, I've spent countless hours practicing and trying to decide what I want humans to look like, what will be my style, what will be my way of drawing humans. I'm still not sure. My style is forever changing, but I feel like that's a sign of growth. I never went to school for drawing. I've taught myself how to draw, and I've also taken a lot of online courses, like I mentioned before, but I know it'll happen with time, so I'm not too worried. I just hope that I can create something that all of you will enjoy, and I hope that we can encourage each other to improve and to continue making art. So for this sketchbook of OCs, I've actually created a few before I filmed this video. I'm going to show them to you. When I decided that I was gonna make this video, I started coming up with stories for the OCs. I'm not going to tell all of their stories today. I'm actually going to just skip the first two for now, just for like time's sake. But we're gonna go through the next two and then the one that I'm drawing in today's video. If you all like the video, then we can go back and talk about the others. I hope that all of you like this content. If you do, please share it with me in the comments below so I know and enjoy the story. Daisy's Dream Cafe. In the bustling mundanity of the diner, there exists a dreamer named Daisy. By day, she navigates the chaos of the restaurant, but in her mind, she is adrift in a world of her own creation. While she gracefully balances plates, within her beats an unyielding desire to craft tales that transcend the ordinary and ignite the imagination. It's only a matter of time until Daisy's aspirations come to fruition. In Daisy's world, the everyday is transformed into something magical. She envisions a universe where animals not only talk, but own their own charming cafe. There, every dish is infused with whimsy and every day exudes not only warmth, but wonder. It's a place where every wish can come true and Daisy longs to be a part of it. As she scribbles away in her precious moments of solitude, Daisy weaves tales of friendship, adventure, and culinary delights. 
In her stories, furry friends and feathered companions work side by side, serving up smiles and heartwarming moments to all who enter their whimsical establishment. But as Daisy's stories take shape, so too does her journey of self-discovery. With each word penned and each dream nurtured, she finds herself drawn deeper into the enchanting world she's created, where even the smallest moments hold the promise of magic and fulfillment. Through Daisy's eyes, readers are transported to a realm where everything sparkles with a touch of magic and the power of imagination knows no bounds. And as her tale unfolds, they discover that sometimes the most extraordinary adventures begin with a simple dream and a sprinkle of wonder. Serfina's Cheery Woods, a tale from Daisy's Dream Cafe. In the heart of Daisy's imaginative universe lies an enchanted woods, and in this magical forest is a young girl who is known as Serfina. Serfina is well known amongst the towering trees and mystical creatures as she is a cheerful teenager who is half girl, half deer. But unlike a centaur, Serfina stands gracefully on two legs, like a human, her head adorned with a magnificent mane of black curls and embellished with two delicate antlers. Serafina's spirit embodies the essence of nature itself, and her story is intertwined with the dreams of a young waitress with a penchant for storytelling. In this fairy tale woodland, the forest is alive with the bustling activity of creatures such as majestic bears, playful hedgehogs, cunning foxes, nimble squirrels, and gentle bunnies, all of whom she counts as friends. But her companions extend beyond the realm of traditional animals as she also shares her days with enchanted beings such as talking flowers, mischievous acorns, and wise mushrooms, each infused with their own unique personalities. As Serafina embarks on whimsical adventures through the forest, guided by her deep connection to nature and her unwavering love for its inhabitants, she discovers that hidden dangers lurk amidst the shadows, threatening the delicate balance of her world. With bravery and determination, Serfina must navigate through challenges, forging alliances, and uncovering her own inner strength along the way. Knoll's Cafe, a magical culinary adventure, another tale from Daisy's Dream Cafe. Within the enchanting confines of, of Daisy's magical forest, nestled among the ancient trees, lies a quaint restaurant where dreams are as much a part of the menu as the delectable dishes. Here, Daisy diligently works alongside her human co-worker, Noel, a fellow teenager who shares her passion for culinary creativity. And each dish they craft, Noel pours his heart and soul into every creation, infusing them with his never-ending enthusiasm and imagination. Noel is a spirited teenager with vibrant orange hair, and he finds his true calling amidst the sizzling pants and swirling aromas of the kitchen. His closest companion is a small yellow bird named Mango. While Noel thrives in his role at the restaurant, his heart harbors a grander ambition to open his own cafe, a place where he can brew his own coffee, bake his own bread, and concoct his own magical recipes with the assistance of his avian allies. As Noel and Daisy work side by side, weaving their culinary magic within the confines of the forest, they share in each other's dreams and aspirations. Together, they envision a future where Noel's Cafe stands as a beacon of warmth and hospitality, a testament to the power of friendship and the boundless possibilities that lie within the heart of Daisy's extraordinary world. Originally, I thought that each character would have their own separate story, so I created a separate story for both Stella and Summer, and then when I moved on to Daisy, that was the one that really ended up changing everything for me, because I wrote about her creating the magical forest, and then I thought, oh, Serafina could possibly live in Daisy's world. I thought that would be cool to kind of show that, like, stories could intertwine, and then when I started drawing Noel, I realized realized, oh, Daisy works at a restaurant and Noel works at a restaurant. I think it could be super cool to put him in Daisy's world as well. So I did. And then I started thinking, wait, Stella also lives in a magical forest and so does Daisy, Serafina, and Noel. So does she also live in Daisy's world? I thought maybe, but there's no way Summer could also live in that world, right? Because she's on a beach. But then I realized that Noel 
has orange hair and so does Summer. So what if Summer was Noel's sister? And that just kind of blew my mind. It really made me change the way that I was thinking about it. So maybe if you guys enjoy it, we'll go back and talk about Stella and Summer, but I'll just see, you know, how the video goes. I do want to say thank you to all of you who have made it through this video. I super appreciate it. If you want to chat in the comments, please feel free to reach out. I always love hearing from all of you. If you have made it this far, consider putting your favorite woodland animal emoji in the comments below so I know that you made it. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Goodbye now.